See, there is one question from uh, Myra and Arjun. Why we celebrate Diwali? So, Ajayji, the question is, why do we celebrate uh, Diwali or in general, why do we celebrate festivals? Oh, very good, very good. You know, like in these days, what is most important for us? Of course, we want to remain healthy. The next stage, we want to have food, is it not? So that's why even though the local government is advising us to stay home, they are saying you can come out to buy groceries, is it not? Other stores are not supposed to be open, but grocery stores are open, is it not? Because food is very, very essential for our survival. And food comes to the grocery stores from farmers. So farming is one of the most important activity of human beings, is it not? And you Acharyaji, uh, looks like he lost his connection. Six months. So he has to plow the field, work hard, then plant some seeds, and then do a lot of work to take care of those plants. And then the bounty has appeared. And now he does the harvesting then gets the rewards of his labor. And of course, everybody is naturally happy when you see the outcome of your hard labor, is it not? And not only the farmers, the whole country, everybody, because everybody is relying on the farmers' produce, is it not? So if this is a good harvest time, like the harvest, in India now, this is the current harvest time. Is it not? Through the season, it's going on. And again, it's before Holi and around Diwali. So what is it? They are two prominent harvest time. The Diwali is more prominent because that is called a Khaif. That is relying on the rain, natural rain. The Rabi, the next harvest is not as prominent as Khaif because there is no any season after between Diwali and Holi. Between Holi and Diwali, there is a rainy season after the summer. So in India, the Khaif, which is around Diwali, is the prominent harvest time when something grows in every square meter of the field, is it not? In the holy, the Rabi harvest, some fields may not have grown anything, but still most of them have grown something. So when the produce comes to farmer's home, it's a very happy mood. And throughout the country, even the government is announcing that we have produced these many millions of tons of wheat, millions of tons of rice, and dal and all kinds of other farmers produce and, and of course there is vegetable and fruits also. So this is a very natural celebration time because there is enough food for the whole nation to survive on. But as such, I will say that is what we would expect from all of our Sanskriti school children. Make every day of yours as a celebration. Is it? Entire life should be celebration. But uh, that's what our forefathers did. Even if somebody is not in celebration mood on a day-to-day basis, they made certain festivals so that the community as a whole is in joy, filled with joy and happiness, is it not? As such, we will say that all of our children in their home should always feel so happy as if we are in celebration mode. Thank you for the question.